Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading this week, your weekly horoscope. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Gemini, which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments. Also, uh, Gemini, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. But remember, Gemini, I'm just fan reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my tarot reading cards, my tarot reading cards, my tarot cards here today are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, Gemini, but never making the decision in your life because it's your life to live and not mine, not these tarot cards. So all that being said, Gemini, let's just get into your weekly horoscope. I want to see where it is you guys are currently at, where it is or how it is you fe are feeling right now, Gemini. Ten of fire. <laughs> Ten of wands. So a little bit heavy, right? I'm dealing with some baggage. Uh, definitely, a well, let me just read off this card first. This says, too much work, uh, accept help from others, life is out of balance, and stress-related health concerns. Yeah, so Gemini, right now, your focus right now this week is just really trying to lighten the load that you're feeling. You definitely are trying to release, actively release, maybe try to let go certain people, certain energies, uh, because I do feel like these wands have been stuck, stuck. Why can I not speak for y'all's reading, Gemini? I do feel like this has been, uh, these, some of these wands have been like long standing here. I do, I just heard like this word closure. Are you like searching for closure in terms of something, Gemini? It's interesting that I heard that. So yeah, there's definitely just this place right now, uh, Gemini, that you're just in a state of feeling pretty heavy. Um, definitely probably might be feeling some feelings of like uh, a little bit of just like what we would call like depression a little bit right i'm not trying to diagnose you whatsoever but it's more so gemini i just get this feeling it's taking you a lot more effort than normal to like get out of bed to even like motivate yourself to do anything right now because it's just like it just feels like you're tired i'm tired and just <sighs> you're ready for a change of pace so Let's see what's going on for you, Gemini, for some clarifiers. We have the Judgment card coming in with the Fool card, as well as the Justice card coming in, the Libra card in the reverse. So I point this out just because I feel like you had the Justice card come in last week for you, Gemini. So are you dealing with like a Libra? Hmm. Anyways, uh, it's interesting with this. I do feel like... Gemini, there's something that you personally feel like you feel there's like this strong desire, Gemini, to take action and just like delete everything, right? This is very much so an energy where it feels like someone wants to just adopt a new identity um, because and just like get a new life because the current life that they're living just isn't isn't the tea right now for you i do feel like there's just like this strong a lot of you gemini's probably feel like you're viewing life right now as like more of like a chore than anything right i really do just get this strong desire that you're just you're just done right and maybe that's why you're dealing with like the ton of wands right maybe you're just doing some spring cleaning right now gemini um and really just being like all right like really unpacking some of the mental and emotional baggage that you might be experiencing or that you've been feeling right now especially with this justice card in the reverse i really do feel like you guys are searching for closure with something that you really didn't get closure on before right with this justice card there's like something that's not like excuse me it's very much so like unfinished business with this unfinished business taking action though um, to like clear out that finished business just so you can like start like your new life almost. It does feel like there's just been something that has been hanging on to you, something that you've been clinging on to. I don't want to say clinging on to, but it's almost like you haven't been able to continue moving forward with like with your life in general because you've just been so focused on um, 
trying to figure out like what happened in some situation, trying to address that Ten of Wands, right? There's just like this weird heaviness that I feel like you've been carrying for a while. That I really feel like you that has like put a pause in your life in a weird way, right? Maybe obviously you guys have just been going in your life, right? Or it's you gonna be here. But with this Ten of Wands here, it's almost like there's a part of your life that you haven't been able to really like develop. Or feel like you haven't been able to develop to develop because of like the lack of closure of a situation. It's a weird message for that to come forward. But um, let's pull a animal oracle card for this. Let's see what they have here. Mm -mm. Peacock card. Let yourself stand out and be noticed with the goose card. To, uh, coming in, take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. Huh. So maybe at this time, Gemini, your best bet currently is to really, if you're trying to get the attention of somebody, um, or actually, I do feel like this is definitely like you're trying to bring in some type of whatever it is that you're lacking closure in Gemini, I feel like you've been actively trying to make yourself known. Uh, from it, having it be seen. It's like you're constantly like, waking up every single day and be like, all right, like maybe, maybe this person's going to reach out. Maybe this person's going to what have you, right? And I feel like you've been just putting a lot of energy on your side of things to uh, work things out on some level. And they just haven't been working out for whatever the reason may be. Um, I really do get the sense of where, I mean, I'll pull some extra cards for this, but I do get this sense, Gemini, of where you're being asked to let go of a situation because it's not going to really... Um, like, these ten wands that you've been carrying for a while now in hopes that, like, at some point, these this baggage that you've like been holding, this stuff, the unfinished business that you've been holding with a person would be handled. But I don't feel like it's... I feel like these wands that you've been carrying for a long time now, hoping they would eventually be addressed, just are not going to be addressed, right? Four of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I do feel like you just... It's because of, like, the situation not coming to a close or what have you. Gemini, you haven't been able to continue the rest of your life, right? The High Priestess card coming in with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been so resistant towards, like, moving on from it. Um, very much so slow moving because there's something in you, though. There's some some type of gut feeling that you have where it's just like, no, like, um, there... There's just something that you have going on that you feel it deep inside you where it's just like, no, there's something more here. There's something else going on, uh, Gemini, that I feel like you're feeling. And even though no one else is noticing it, because I even, I even am thinking back from your last week's reading, Gemini, um, there's something that everyone else thought you were crazy about that you ended up being right on. Um, now with this energy, it's very much so similar where it's just like... Um, there's just like, yeah, this situation that you have a gut feeling about is gut instinct. And it's just like, you don't want to move on from it until it's addressed. But um, yeah, I guess we can just see, uh, Gemini, how this situation is going to pan out this week, right? And see what's going on this week in terms of like how this uh, works out for you, Gemini. Mm, taking, no, we're not taking these. How's it going to work out this week for Gemini? Ace of Water, Ace of Cups. All right. So this card says, falling in love with a resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition. So another card talking about intuition, um, remembering from that High Priestess card that we just pulled. So definitely, and I know last week's reading as well, Gemini, I was talking about, or I was uh, rather commending your intuition because it definitely was right on something that a lot of people were having some doubt on. Now, with this card though, Gemini, I want to say that, and you know, my optimism wants to come in and where it's just like, okay, because this card talks about the resurgence of a connection, it's going to work out. But maybe this is more so like you opening up the opportunity, opening up your heart to the idea of new energy, right? Let's see what these clarifiers. The judgment card following you again, Libra, I almost called you Libra, uh, Gemini. So the judgment card coming in, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Knight King of Swords, rather, King of Swords in the upright. Hmm. Notice this is all through action. Judgment card keeps following you, uh, Gemini. The Judgment card comes in with the King of Swords, where it's like very much so like 
you finally take action and you kind of like force a conversation, right? I don't like to use the word force, but like um, from your point of view, you're trying to just come at this from like a level head of being like, all right, let's figure this out. Let's speak about this. Let's talk about this. Let's, you know, let's develop a plan. Let's talk about perspective, right? Um, because again, with a judgment card, this does really highlight the sense of seeing all sides of things with action, right? Um, with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, I really, I want to get some clarifiers for this, Gemini, but I do feel like right now it's like very much so like a situation where it's like you, you're calling out like an elephant in the room and you're just like, look here, this isn't feeling good to me. You know, you don't like this energy. And so, um, and I feel like it's been weighing on you for, again, for quite some time. And because it's been weighing on you for quite some time, it's actually kind of like had you had has had you just had Gemini. <laughs> it's almost like because of this situation here, it's actually taken a toll on other aspects of your life because it's like, yeah, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Definitely somehow this has like impacted your Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Emperor card. <sighs> yeah wow gemini something has happened it's mm, it's like you guys definitely like took a blow to the gut with something and it's really just made got you in your head about everything that you do even just with yourself even i feel like there's this like questioning that you're having with yourself gemini of being like you know questioning is like oh am i even really a good person is it even worth me opening up to people because every single time i open up to people some type of heaviness comes in right there's always just this sense of like regret after the fact because of just you know whatever your situation is gemini there is just this sense of um almost adopting i don't want to say you're adopting a cynical nature but it's there's definitely some type of situation that triggered you heavily and it's still been weighing on you and i don't feel like you've been able to let go of it but definitely with this though gemini i am going to be honest you know keeping in mind that this is like the, the cards being pulled are for how the situation pans out um we have to keep in mind because of those clarifiers if you were to take action on this i feel like you would get closure in this situation i feel like i'm going to be honest if it's a situation that you really want to rekindle i don't feel like it's going to rekindle i feel like you might get closure but it's not going to be the closure that you want right the rattlesnake card, yeah uh definitely this is whatever this situation is if you were to pursue it further it would be healing for you, but not healing in the way that you would want. Very much so a situation, Gemini, of saying, quite literally saying, is like, be careful what it is that you ask for. Um, because, you know, you're asking for there to be a conversation. That conversation may not be exactly all that pleasant, uh, Gemini. So now, you know, we got all that heaviness in. Let's talk about the good stuff coming to you. Naturally, we have cycles closing off for you as well. Ten of Swords, Ten of Air, the end of a difficult situation, right? Embracing the change and expecting things to get better now and then recovering from an addiction. So let's see where do you get closure on something. Like things start looking up for you, but how, right? Let's get some clarifying cards. <clears throat> so Gemini, we have here the Sun card the two of cups do you see the sun card yeah the two of cups seven of wands in the reverse and the hanged man in the reverse <sighs> truly gemini what i want to say is i know this i y'all know i can't be sugarcoating nothing honey um i do get this sense that it's going to be through some disappointment um that you actually are able to finally feel free and like go on move on i really do get this strong sense here um, because of this two of cups there's just been something that you really have been holding out on really been wanting to have work out for you gemini and i feel like that closure is coming but it's not in the way that you want it to be it's like i don't feel like it's going to pan out in the way maybe i'm wrong right i'm speaking of this in a way where it's just like i get this strong sense that i don't feel like if this is about a person i don't feel like you guys are going to reconnect after you have like a tough conversation right i feel like you're gonna realize um 
that you guys are just not seeing each other in the way that you thought you guys were seeing each other in, as weird as that might sound. Um, especially with that seven of wands here with that hanged man. Yeah, I feel as if like it's one of those things where you got you thought you were a match with somebody, Gemini, and maybe you are. Maybe you guys are compatible, but for some reason there's some strong resistance on the other side of the spectrum here, where it's just not meant for you right now. Gemini, whether it's like a job, whether it's like a per I really do feel like strongly it's about a person, Gemini. So let me know in the comments who this is about, honey. But uh, now let's get into uh, my Gemini's, uh, fi not financial, yeah. I want to get into my Gemini's love and social connections this week. So you guys actually get the Four of Wands. Uh, so Gemini, for you guys, this card talks about contentment, peace, and abundance. Libra got this card as well. Uh, a happy four, is, I think, for, yeah, ex actually, they got the this exact card for their social and romantic. Libra keeps popping up for you, Gemini. Mm. Uh, yeah, happy home life, the successful completion of a project. This is the 1111 card, your portal card. Let's see the clarifiers for this, for this uh, situation, this connection. Libra. Now I'm calling you Libra, Gemini. I'm sorry. Gemini. The Judgment card again. And the Fool card. There are some cards following you. Very interesting. All these cards following you. All Major Arcana as well. With this Emperor card in the reverse, the Fool card in the reverse, the Judgment card here. <sighs> Gemini. There is some type of social connection here that, you're, that I do feel as if you're going to be letting go of right all your cards keep speaking in this way um where it's just like there's something that you really thought was going to be for you actually just isn't for you and i feel like this is really going to be a week for you uh gemini of where you kind of stomach this and just this is going to be a week of digesting like this blow to the gut I feel like it might be for you where it's just like you're kind of just disappointed perhaps by the situation not working out in the way that you'd hope right you're still on your path right so don't question yourself gemini um because of this four of wands you're still going towards this four of wands i feel but it's just like there's just a person that maybe you thought was going to be there in your life for longer just isn't right um yeah i'm sorry to hear about this gemini i know this is such a bummer of a reading but i do feel like it, this closure is extremely necessary for you but um yeah now let's get into my uh, gemini's financial and uh work situation this week the awakening card came out uh number three in numerology archangel gabriel coming in uh so write down the art uh number three as well as archangel archangel gabriel is reaching out to connect with you this week gemini you also have this card come up in your pre-shuffle by the way i wasn't gonna say anything but um since it's following you now it's crazy you guys gemini are having like my most like my cards are like the most connected with you gemini so far uh that i've experienced in a little bit uh so yeah this card says looking at things from a different perspective notice perspectives following you with that hanged man as well um so it really is perspective shift on how thing like you i feel like you're changing how you're seeing things in your current life uh temporary stand still it's important to be yourself hmm. let's see here let's get some clarifiers so we have the seven of pentacles and the knight of swords in the reverse so definitely in this situation here um you're definitely i feel like some of you gemini's are really having this urge to just uproot uproot the things that you've been working on and kind of just like i don't know it's making me it's giving me this sense gemini where it's like this energy of where something that you initially were just doing for you know whatever your reason is you maybe had your eggs in a basket um on something something triggered this where you're just like you know what i don't want to do this anymore i want to just uproot this i want to be done right you got some type of aha moment which is why you had the awakening card something opened your eyes where you're just like oh i don't know if i want to do that anymore um the wheel card with the let's drop these cards the wheel card with the in the reverse with the four swords coming in here um definitely i feel like uh, one more 
Three of Pentacles in the reverse. There's definitely something that you really wanted to work out with. Some type of collaborative energy, something that you initially started putting energy into, some type of job, something. Yeah, I feel like you just started investing energy, time and energy into a situation being like, oh, this is going to be the payout, right? And I do oddly enough feel as if like somehow through like some type of closure that you experience this week, Gemini, some type of healing that you experience, it's through this healing of where you realize like something that you initially were like putting energy into, you're just like, you know what? I just want to pick up and just go, right? I feel like you guys, Gemini, are in this really strong sense, strong urge or just like, you know, very much so giving me an energy of uh, someone wanting to just like quit their job, right? You have like the strong desire to like quit your job because you only signed up to do this job because of like this other connection um, from before, right? Maybe there's like, you only picked up this job before because you didn't, I don't know. There's something I do. Just, it's like this strange message. So it's hard for me to give a specific thing for this Gemini. But I do feel as if like somehow you healing and there's just something that you were putting it energy into initially that you were coming from like perhaps like a damaged place or just like a certain mindset. Um, you know, very much so. Maybe if you just needed money at the immediate time to take care of yourself, Gemini, you picked up a job that was just like, whatever. Now, like, you're at this place of being like, eh, I don't know if I want to do this job anymore. Um, you got it for the money, like, you signed up for it initially for the money, but now you're just like, eh, I don't know if this is for me. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. Let me know how this reading goes for you, Gemini. Let me know which cards resonate with for you, because it's such an interesting reading of how this all went down for you this week. Uh, hopefully you found some cards that resonated. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if it did. Also, Gemini, I do weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, not just yours. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them as well. Till next time, I love you so much, Gemini.